Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Over the last couple of weeks I've been getting a few questions about how to rip PlayStation 3 games to use an RPCS3, so I figured I'd put together a quick guide for you. There is a great walkthrough on the RPCS3 website, but some people just learn better by seeing it done. So let's do it! First of all, you're going to want to make sure that you've got a Blu-ray drive that'll work. There is a list of compatible drives on the RPCS3 website, which I've got linked to below. This isn't a comprehensive list, so even if yours isn't on there, it may be worth giving it a shot. Now that you've got your Blu-ray drive figured out, you're going to need some software to rip the disc. I've had the most luck with Isobuster, so that's what I've got linked below, and that's what I'll be using in this guide. Installing it is easy, just click the download button, open the installer, and go through the step-by-step -step instructions. Alright, so now we need to grab two files off the RPCS3 website. The first one you're going to want is this patcher right here. So click that to download it. And then the second file you're going to want is the ISO tools file. So click that to download that as well. From here, scroll on down to step 7, where you're going to find the link to Johnny's place. Let's head over there because he's got a few things for us. Once you get there, you're going to want to download this ISO rebuilder tool. So click this link and then go ahead and download it here and then head back to the IRD library. Here we're going to search for our game by the game ID. You're going to find this on the spine of the game case or the disc itself. I'm ripping my US Greatest Hits copy of Skate 3, so I'm going to be looking for B L U S 30464. As you can see, it's the only title that shows up here. And if you're using Chrome like me, you'll have to right click this download button and hit save link as. And I've already downloaded this file once before, but I'm going to overwrite it for the sake of this video. Alright, we're back at the desktop and now we've got all the tools that we're going to need to rip our game. So let's crack open ISO Buster here. Might take a minute to load up, but once it does it should look something like this. So we're going to want to right click on track 1 and hit extract track 1 and extract user data. From here you're going to want to tell it where to save. And I'm going to put it on the desktop with everything else. And it's going to start the rip, so buckle up, it's going to take about 10, maybe 20 minutes. And once the rip is complete, we can close out of ISO Buster and head back to the desktop. So now we have our ISO, but we still need to decrypt it. And in order to do that, we're going to need to patch it first. So let's head up to the patcher folder that we downloaded and open up this test patcher program. Now this is pretty straightforward, where it says select ISO image, you're going to want to click select and then find your ISO image and open it. And then you're going to want to do the same thing for your IRD below. Once you've got them both loaded, you should see a key appear in the box below. Once that shows up, hit the patch button and you're done patching. You can close out of all of this and head back to the desktop. Now that we've patched our ISO with our IRD, we can go ahead and decrypt it. Let's open up our three key folder and then open up ISO tools. In ISO tools, click the ISO crypto button, and then go ahead and open up your ISO image. It'll automatically start decrypting the image and it's going to spit out that decrypted image in the same directory as the original. Once you're done, you should see this green success message, and then you can close out of all this and head back to your desktop. So now I've got that decrypted ISO file on my desktop here, and it's a good idea to make sure that everything came out alright. So go up to that ISO Rebuilder tool, and go to Open, ISO, and load up your decrypted ISO. Make sure that you load the decrypted ISO and not the regular one. Give it a few minutes to go over everything, and then check through the results. Everything should either be white or green. If you've got any yellow or red, then you're going to want to go back and try ripping your disc again. Everything looks good here, so I'm going to head back to the desktop and get ready for the last step. So now that we know we've got a good image, we're ready to go ahead and extract it. 
So let's open up ISO tools once more and go up to tools, ISO, and extract ISO. Find your decrypted ISO and then tell ISO tools where you want to save the extracted files. Make a new folder, but I suggest not renaming it. It can cause some weird issues during the extraction process. You should see this green successful message, and that means your files have been extracted and your game is ready to play on RPCS3. So let's close out of all this, and then open up that folder to make sure that everything's in there. This looks good, so I'm going to open up RPCS3 and we're going to load this up. I'm going to go into this game folder, user directory, find the eBoot, and drag it on over into RPCS3, and it'll start booting up. And that's how you back up your PS3 discs to play on RPCS3. Big shout out to the team behind this emulator. I've got a link to their Patreon page down below. I highly recommend supporting them if you can. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. And please, take care.